Hey YouTube, KG Blaze here. How the hell are you doing? Well, we got a knife review for you, or at least we're gonna talk about this knife here. This is a Chris Reeve knife, the Nundi, and uh, watched the Archman do a review on this knife, and went over to Lafayette Shooters, where outdoor fun begins, and said, you know what, I got an itch that needs to be scratched, so let's go ahead and pick this knife up. And you know what, this is a beautiful knife. This is an awesome gentleman's knife, or if you're a gentle woman, I suppose you could have a knife like this. But it's very small. Uh, the construction on this knife is, is awesome. I mean, look at this pocket clip. This pocket clip is made out of solid titanium. Just sit there and mold that sucker just as beautiful as you could see. Try to let you take a look at that, get that in focus. They put the Chris Reeve stamp on that pocket clip kind of looks like a dressy little pin you know the way that pocket clip is made uh, the pocket clip is uh, reinforced with a uh, a uh, allen wrench type uh, bolt and you can reverse it left to right the knife is tip up carry only you can remove the pocket clip completely if you'd like and uh, or you can switch it over to left to right uh, whatever you prefer, but it's only tip up carry can't do tip down But you know, I, I would imagine some of you guys that would carry a knife like this It would probably be like a backup knife or just a little pocket knife that you would keep in the bottom of your pocket Say like say like if you'd have like a case knife or something You would use it similar to that I guess or you know, maybe you maybe you're wearing your dress suit You're going to church on a Sunday or or maybe you're a businessman and you're wearing some slacks. You know, if you got slacks on, they're made out of thinner material. And I can't I can't imagine wearing the AK-47 by cold steel in a pair of dress slacks. Nah, that I can't imagine that at all. So I guess what you'd need to do is have you a little Chris Reeve knife like this. The Nundy would fit perfect in some dress slacks. I mean, just imagine this little knife in your suit pant. Or maybe some dress slacks tie and a button down shirt and you want to dress nice well you need a knife like this that's gonna look good on you you know ain't nothing nothing worse than pulling out an old rusty knife when y'all dressed up I mean this knife is beautiful the handle is made out of titanium and it's got this inlay here this inlay is made with a hard wood it's African black wood yes sirree it's got inlays right here. It's made out of that African blackwood. Now, that's a sweet looking blade there. Made with some S30V stainless. Got us a fingerprint on it. We're gonna wipe that fingerprint off. I use microfiber towels most of the time. Today we're wiping with the Sham Wow. Makes you say wow every time you wipe it. Get that sucker knocked out. It's got a, it's got some cool looking little thumbnail uh, indentions in the blade uh, you, you got them on both sides so if you're left-handed or right-handed you just stick your thumbnail in there and pull that sucker open look at that blade how pretty that is that's just a thing of beauty yes sir look at that pivot screw I don't know if you can see it through the camera but it's got that blue looking uh, CR circular design on there the Chris Reeve logo I mean, they just uh, attention to detail when they build in this knife. It comes with an Allen wrench in the box so you can bust that sucker open. Say you did some work and you want to take that blade off and clean it and lubricate it a little bit. Kind of like the Sabenza. You can do the same thing. Take that knife apart and clean it. Let me just show you. If you got the Sabenza, you put the Sabenza next to the, to the Nundi. See the difference there? It's just, I mean, it's, this is a, it's a beautiful knife with the wooden inlays and uh, just a thing of beauty there. It's, it's, uh, it's awesome. So, being that it's made with this, uh, with this titanium, let's just stick that, oops, stick that right there. Being that it's made with that titanium handle and a titanium pocket clip, in that S30V blade, you know how much this little pocket knife weighs? It only weighs an ounce and a half. 
Yes, you heard me. An ounce and a half. That's it. It's super duper light. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. If you didn't want to stick it on your pocket, you just drop this in the bottom of your pocket and it's going to feel great. No, no hesitation at all to carry this knife. Um, it's got a little bit of jimping there. I don't know if they call that jimping or not. It's, it's kind of feels like a little fingernail file when you're rubbing your finger on it. But this is, again, guys, this is not a tactical knife. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever recommend you carry this knife if you're going out to defend your country or, or if you're going to be a policeman and you need something to defend yourself. This is not the knife to get. All right. Don't go buy this knife if you're a rescue person. But if you're a gentleman and you want something classy and nice, you definitely need to go think about getting your knife like this. I mean, it's just beautiful. And it's super smooth, built really well. I mean, look at it against that box. You see how that blade just sits in there perfect? It's got that integral lock mechanism. Super sweet. You just grab it by them little, them little thumbnail indentions there and just kind of pop it. Pop it open. Kind of like the spider drop. Whenever you open it and you spider coes. It's got that frame lock right there. Kind of like the Sabenza. And when you drop it, let's see, look how pretty that sits. Can you see how that blade just sits right there in the middle? And the tang is nice and rounded, kind of like Archman said. I mean, that's just, that's attention to detail right there, buddy. Yes, sir. -y. That's a beautiful knife. And you know, if you don't like this African black wood, you can definitely go online and get you, there's all sorts of little inlays you can get for this knife. Different kinds, different colors. And uh, this knife here is, uh, let's, let's get its birth certificate out. You know, I love it how they put the birth certificate in there. This is the Nundi, the S30V blade. It's got the Rockwell hardness of 5859 titanium with African black wood inlays. This knife was built or assembled on July 26, 2007. So it's been sitting on a shelf for a very long time. And uh, I adopted it. I took it up for adoption. So I'm going to raise it as my own now. And that's my little review on the Nundi. If I've forgotten to mention anything, please forgive me. Thank you, Archman, for doing a review on this knife. You are the man when it comes to Chris Reeve knives. And uh, there's a lot of you guys out there that, that do reviews on Chris Reeve knives. And y'all all do a great job. YouTube inspires me, and thank you very much. And ATF, I'm not going to let you borrow this one either, so sorry. Hey, the Cajun Blaze talking to you later. Not A, not B, but see ya!